We begin with breaking news now from Henniker, where the general manager of Pat's Peak and the Henniker fire chief tell us a 15 year old is dead after an incident on the mountain. This was a granite state showdown between the two Republican frontrunners. Former President Donald Trump taking time to blast Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The Florida governor barely mentioning Trump's name at all. When Kayla Montgomery was released from jail here, I asked about what she knows about missing seven year old Harmony Montgomery, about what her estranged husband Adam Montgomery could know. Is Harmony. Do you know anything about Harmony? Federal and state law enforcement agents in New York and here in New England are investigating whether a machete attack on three New York City police officers during the city's New Year's Eve festivities could be a possible incident of terrorism. Oh, and we're backwards. We're going backwards. We're going, we're going sideways. Okay, that was a lot for me. I, I got to tell you, that was a lot. I'm not too great with the speed. It's also going to be a lot for me to try to get out of that. Grace, you just caught up with the former governor one on one. Jamie, that's right, and he praised the Granite State. He says the Granite State has the most interested voters in the country. Al Hajbi was here shoveling off his stairs after that storm. He says when he got to the bottom, all of a sudden a branch fell from that tree. And if you take a look, you can see limbs there are loose. When the wind comes, it actually shakes a little bit and is quite scary. If you take a look at the ground, you'll see limbs there as well. You'll see debris. Just hours ago, this was a home and now it's a pile of rubble. You can see what's left of a chair there. You can see cement from the foundation of the house. Let me tell you, the most popular place you can be today is right here at this stand. Why, you may ask, well, people are buying a lot of Celtics apparel. We got a, a hat here. I might match my green dress. People living in cities throughout the country, including here in Manchester, when they step out of their car, park it, leave it, could be running into an issue. Here is another live look in Hooksit. We've been seeing snow coming down here on 93 for several hours now. Ariel Metropolis is live at the rest area tonight. Ariel, it looks just warm and balmy out there. Tom and Monaco and Kayla Montgomery was released from jail here. I asked her about what she knows about missing seven year old Harmony Montgomery, about what her estranged husband Adam Montgomery could know. She has no response for us. Kayla, where is Harmony? Do you know anything about Harmony? Have you heard anything about Harmony from anyone? No answers from Kayla Montgomery Friday night after her release from Valley Street Jail. The stepmother of missing seven-year-old Harmony Montgomery got into a blue Toyota SUV after she was held for four months. She's facing charges unrelated to the girl's disappearance. Among them, theft by deception on accusations she claimed Harmony Montgomery was still a member of her household, even though the girl was not living with her and Adam Montgomery at the time. She's also charged with two counts of receiving stolen property, both felonies, and two counts of welfare fraud, misdemeanors. Kayla Montgomery is out of jail on an unsecured appearance bond for $5,000. That means she doesn't have to pay up front and promises to appear in court. This video from when Kayla Montgomery faced a judge Thursday. There are conditions to her release. Among them, she's required to check in at the police department daily and to get substance use disorder treatment. She can't travel out of state, have a firearm or weapons, or drink an excessive amount of alcohol. Police are continuing to search for the missing seven-year-old girl. They're asking anyone who knows anything to reach out to them. Live in Manchester, Grace Feinerman, WMUR News 9. This was a granite state showdown between the two Republican frontrunners. Former President Donald Trump taking time to blast Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The Florida governor barely mentioning Trump's name at all. The sanctimonious at 19 percent. He's not. He's heading. <laughs> Question is, when will he go to third place? This party, Republican Party, you know, has developed a culture of losing over many election cycles. A Republican face-off between former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis Tuesday in New Hampshire. The events within hours of each other. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a badge, a great, great, beautiful badge of honor. Trump addressing the criminal charges he's facing. He's also aiming at the Florida governor, 
Trump says DeSantis mishandled the COVID pandemic, an issue many Republicans consider a strong point for the governor. Remember, he closed the beaches, closed the highways. He didn't want anybody on those highways. Remember, those highways were closed. We want everybody locked in. Governor DeSantis not speaking about his opponent often at his rally in Hollis. He spoke one-on-one -on -one to News 9, saying he'll lean on many of the policies in the Sunshine State, especially when it comes to the economy. We have incredibly low debt. Uh, we've actually reduced our state debt. We're now second lowest per capita in the country. DeSantis says his presidency will also focus on crime, education, the southern border, and the opioid epidemic. A new St. Anselm College Survey Center poll, the first since Governor Sununu opted not to run for president, shows DeSantis losing ground to Trump, down 10 points since March. The countdown is on to the first Republican primary debate that's in about a month, scheduled for August 23rd. We're live in Manchester tonight, Grace Feinerman, WMUR News 9.